Hey guys, Anthony here with another WordPress quick tip. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about editing your HT access file if you don't have FTP credentials. So a lot of times uh, I've been faced with this challenge where uh, I'll have a, a client that's requesting a site and uh, the only thing they give me is the login credentials to WordPress or maybe their host actually doesn't even have the uh, ability to allow FTP uh, access. So what what I've found is that there is actually a plugin that will let you edit your HD access file and, uh, and it will allow you to change things like the maximum upload size or how your permalinks are handled, things like that. Uh, because a, a big problem that you're going to have if, if you're only given WordPress access is you're not going to be able to uh, upload large files because the default upload size is usually around 2 megs and, and that's usually not enough to get what you need done. So, uh, so what this plugin does is allow you to change that without ever having to log in through FTP. So let's look at it. Okay, so we're going to start out, as always, in the plugin uh, section of WordPress, and you're going to click on the Add New button. And what we're going to search for this time is going to be WP HT Access. Now, uh, what the HT Access file is doing is it's it's what's setting the server side rules, uh, and and it's what what handles like the uh, the maximum upload size, the post max size, things like that in WordPress. So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and install the very first one. It's called WP HT Access Control, and we'll let that run. And, and this, there are other ones, this is just the one that I like to go with just because it's, it's, it's a lot more, uh, it's, it's much more user friendly. You don't actually have to type and run the risk of having syntax errors. So when it's finished installing, go ahead and click activate. And once you click activate, go hover over the settings panel and click on HT access control. Now what this is going to do is take you to the, uh, the settings page for that plugin. Now, if you see here, there's a ton of options. I'm just going to get into the, the, the big ones that you need to worry about if you don't have FTP access. So um, let's look at uh, the HT access suggestion section. You just click on the tab and it opens it up. And you can protect the WP config file. You can protect the HT access file. What this is going to do is just deny access from the public to those files. Uh, you can protect comments. You can enable mod gzip, mod deflate. And uh, this is the part that we want to focus on, the limit upload size. So uh, I get the request a lot uh, that, that WordPress is saying that they can't upload anything larger than 2 megs. Well, this is where you can change that. You can enter 20. Uh, usually I keep it around 20, and, and that's, that's where I leave it. Um, now for, let's see, we've got it. For your 500 errors, you can set a custom path for, for error pages or 403 errors. You can, you can set, a, you can build out a static HTML page, designed however you want, and then all you have to do is just point it to that, that file, or if it's an HTML file. So, so this plugin's got a lot of cool options, and let's get into some of the other ones. So, custom author permalink, you can set what uh, you want your custom author to be. Uh, you can do custom pagination, you can do a custom search permalink. Um, or So, in with this one, what you could do is you could set it to be, so let's say we want it to be forward slash search, and then whatever they're searching for. So then that, that could be how you enter that information. Um, you can set your mod rewrite, uh, you can do even custom HD access. So if you do have some rules that are specific to your applications or whatever plugins you may use, uh, you can enter these here and, uh, and it'll just append it to the HD access file in your, your root directory. And, and there's not a lot to this plugin, I mean, it, 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 it serves its purpose and it's straight to the point. So uh, with that, I mean, you're pretty much done. And, and you can play around with all of the other uh, features here. There's a lot of really cool stuff, like you can remove the author base so no one ever sees your, your username or your author name. Uh, you can remove categories, remove tags, things like that so that you can simplify your permalink structure and, and that actually might help you out with SEO. So yeah, with that, the plugin is configured. Fairly straightforward plugin. Um, so th again, this solves the issue of, of not having FTP access. If you do have FTP access and you like to do things yourself, you can certainly go in there and uh, and edit things yourself. But uh, this plugin just makes it a little easier. Gives you something graphical to look at, a UI. So uh, if you have any questions on it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any questions about HD access in general, please feel free to ask. Uh, and, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have a good one.